Hello nerds, uh, Mr. Graham again uh, for our final video on operations management. This one we're talking about the strategy of waste minimization. Starting with the key knowledge uh, again, uh, the key knowledge point that we're talking about in this video are strategies to improve the efficiency and effectiveness of operations through waste minimization in the production process, including the principles of lean management. Right, so just a reminder about effectiveness and efficiency. Effectiveness is the degree to which the business has achieved its objectives, sales, profit, market share, productivity, customer satisfaction, so on and so forth. Whereas efficiency is the relationship of inputs to outputs and to improve your efficiency, you either need to decrease your inputs or increase your outputs or in a perfect world, do both. All right, a very quick recap of the waste management theory. And here are the seven types of waste uh, within lean management. Now, these are not listed in the study design, so you're not gonna get a specific question about one of these wastes. Um, however, you do need to know uh, a little bit about lean management in a little bit of detail, because the study design does mention, um, essentially, it mentions the key principles, which says you need to be able to touch on a number of different areas of what lean management is, and a bit of detail. So lean management um, is all about minimizing waste uh, with a commitment to quality. And the types of waste uh, are these seven types. We want to remove excess motion, which is the movement of people and inventory that isn't required. We want to remove excess transportation. So we don't want to move our products um, from one location to another uh, unless it's absolutely necessary. And the example I use here is Let's say you're making a car and the, um, uh, the engine bay is made in one location and then you send all the incomplete engine bays over to another factory for the engine to be put on and then that to come back again to the original factory. That's excess transportation, doesn't make sense. Do it all in the one place and make it much more efficient. The next one is overproduction. Now this is making more than what the customers will require. So uh, in the, if you are a manufacturer of ski boots, uh, not making more than you're going to need for that particular season. The fourth one is over-processing. Now this one involves trying to reduce um, unnecessary steps in the production process that don't actually add any value to the customer. Um, this can take a number of different forms, but let's say you're making a, a product which comes uh, in a cardboard box. If the customer doesn't value that cardboard box, if all they're gonna do is take the product out and throw the box in the bin, it might be an idea to get rid of that step of um, putting the product in the box and then shipping it around because uh, you can save money and then pass that on to your customers for a competitive advantage of a cheaper price. The fifth one is defects. This one makes sense. Obviously, if you have a product which um, is defective, you have to throw it out and uh, you've invested all of these inputs to get the product to that stage and you want to minimize those as much as possible. The next one is excess inventory. So inventory um, is a word that is often associated with finished goods, but this also includes your materials that you've purchased uh, and also your work in progress goods. So uh, your, um, your unprocessed uh, inputs, if you like, through the production process. If you don't need them, then don't use them. And the just-in-time strategy uh, aligns really, really well uh, with this particular area of waste minimization. And the final one is waiting time. This can take a number of different um, forms, whether it's a manufacturing organization uh, in waiting for parts or components to arrive, or it can be just as simple as an employee waiting for an email to arrive in an office. All right, that was the theory of lean management. Let's see how, let's see how waste minimization can improve both effectiveness and efficiency. So starting with effectiveness, which again is about the achievement of business objectives. Within lean management, defects are proactively reduced. So don't forget, lean management is not just about the seven types of waste, it's also about a commitment to quality. Okay, so if you are proactively reducing your defects, which is a type of waste, you're gonna have much more satisfied customers because the end product is gonna be of a good quality. Secondly, uh, for efficiency, which is about reducing inputs or increasing outputs, how waste minimization can assist in that particular goal. Uh, less waste means more inputs being converted into outputs. So if you've got 100 units of inputs and you don't have much waste throughout the process, then most of those inputs are gonna be converted into outputs 
uh, therefore maximizing your outputs. Okay, and increasing outputs increases your productivity. All right, guys, so that's a summary of uh, waste minimization within operations management. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.